Tonight, why WSU is asking their students not to come back until spring semester. And what professional athlete has been suspended for the entire season, Murrow News 8 starts now. Murrow News 8 starts right now. Good evening, I'm Kylie Gibson. And I'm Mayu Kurum. Welcome to Murrow News 8. Washington Governor Jay Inslee's Stay Safe, Stay Healthy proclamation is officially in effect until at least December 14th, 2020. As of now, restaurants and bars are closed for indoor dining service. Outdoor dining and to-go service is permitted with the limited maximum of five people. These restrictions apply statewide regardless of county phase. Washington State University requested the National Guard unit testing for COVID-19 in Pullman to extend its deployment. The Guard was sent to Pullman in September following a coronavirus outbreak. The unit was set to leave on Friday, but to increase in, but increase in cases of coronavirus, the Guard has decided to continue testing for coronavirus in Pullman. The Guard has extended its deployment for another month to December 17th. There were 19 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Whitman County Wednesday with five hospitalizations. Leta County had 29 confirmed cases Wednesday without any new reported hospitalizations. The United States is currently at an all-time high in coronavirus cases. Washington State University is encouraging its Pullman students who are in town studying online not to return before the start of the spring semester. WSU has delayed the start of the spring semester until January 19th. The Pullman Arts Commission is looking for submissions for the community's end racism now, mural to be painted on a wall on downtown. The project is the end result of an online petition calling for a Black Lives Matter. The selected artist will be paid $500 or a team of artists will receive up to $1,500. Artists living on the Palouse are invited to apply and the money is coming from donations. Pullman Farmers Winter Market is undergoing a makeover this year due to COVID. New market will be called, the new market will be called Winter Trunk Market and will take place in the parking lot of the Brelsford WSU Visitor Center with vendors selling out of the trunk of their vehicles. For now, there's only one market left, December 16th. They will take place from 3 to 5 p.m. This holiday season, traditional in-person shopping may fall by the wayside. Moreau News 8 reporter Andrew Bartline is with us now. Andrew, what kind of impact can we expect to see on traditional shopping with so many online options? Yeah, thanks, Kylie. So for the fourth year, the university has released an annual holiday retail report. Uh, the 1,700 respondents voiced different concerns. Some wish they could go back to how online shopping was before the pandemic. Others are feeling forced to shop online with local and state government restrictions. And others feel that it's just irresponsible for stores to remain open in the first place. I might do the occasional kind of walk through the farmer's markets and that Kind of stuff. I mean, it, it's outdoors with everything going on, so I don't feel at, as at risk in the uh, outdoor farmers markets. But I mean, in general, it's I'm used to staying in my house, so Amazon or, or other online retailers will probably be the bulk of my shopping. The report says 83% of shoppers plan to stay home this Thanksgiving. As for Black Friday, those numbers dropped slightly down to 77%. 54% say they're not excited for the holidays because they simply won't be the same this year. So like most things, expect this holiday season to look a little different this year. Back to you, Kylie. It's raining in Pullman. Cameron Limes has joined us for more updates on weather. Cameron, what are we looking at for the upcoming days? Thank you so much, HK. Yeah, so weather... For this upcoming week, a little bit of rain. So today we start with a high of 49 with a low of 33. A little bit of a chance of snow tonight, so just be ready for that. Moving into tomorrow, we have a high of 44 with a low of 28. Also another chance of snow there, so just be prepared during the later in later in the day, excuse me. Um, across the state, we have Seattle with a high of 48 and a low of 42. Really not a lot changing over there when we move down to Olympia. Still some rain coming down as well. Moving into the middle of the state, we actually have Yakima at 53 degrees with a chance of showers, as a matter of fact. Uh, that also mirrors the Tri-Cities area. 
Um, moving into the rest of the week, as a matter of fact, we have a little bit of a wet start. So today and tomorrow, um, definitely going to be seeing some rain, maybe some snow. But as we move into uh, Friday, Saturday, things are going to clear up really nicely. If you are going back over to the west side for Thanksgiving or for the holidays, Friday and Saturday will be your best days for the past. Uh, those will be the most clear days for you. Back to you, HK. In the sports world, see which former Mariner has been suspended for all of the 2021 season. Alex Biviano has your sports. Thanks, Kylie. I'm actually going with, with your more sports update. The NBA draft will take place tonight over Zoom. You watch it loud on ESPN at 5 p.m. It's currently happening right now, and the Minnesota Timberwolves have taken the first pick with Anthony Edwards out of Georgia, followed by the Warriors pick of James Wiseman out of Memphis. Warren took Lamella Ball, who last played overseas in Australia, third. Now continues on ESPN with Chicago Bulls taking the fourth pick. Also, some sad NBA news is that Clay Thompson, Cougar, is reported toward his Achilles. So he will miss the second straight season if this rumor is true. <laughs> My co producers are here working at me, which is fantastic. Um, the Seahawks will look to redeem their week one time loss to the Cardinals tomorrow night at Central Lake Field. The winner will take control of the NFC West. Kick us at 5 20 Thursday on Fox NFL Network. Over the diamond, Robinson Cano, former Mariner, has been suspended for the second time. The second baseman will miss all the 2021 MLB season after a second positive test for performance enhancing drugs. The 38-year-old New York Met tested positive for Stanzolol and anabolic steroid. This is positive for a banned diuretic in 2018 with the Mariners, which resulted in an 80-game suspension. When the MLB performance enhancing drug policy, the second positive test immediately triggers a 162-game unpaid suspension. Back to you guys. Thank you, Alex. Participating Latah County Library District branches are hosting this year's Coats for Kids event. Free coats will be available for those in need and are available for pickup now. Participating branches include Boville, Deary, Genesee, Julieta, Potlatch, and Troy. Funding and support are provided by the Moscow, the Moscow Caldwell Banker, Tomolition, and Latah County Umqua Banks. Thanks for watching. If you missed anything in this or any of our previous newscasts, you can always watch us on our YouTube channel. More news can, can be found at nwpb.org slash and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Hope you guys enjoyed our first online newscast. Have a good night.